guys, this video is going to be a book review of Warlock Holmes, A Study in Brimstone by G.S. Denning, an unknown author to me. It's quite refreshing. Obviously, from the title, this is a Sherlock Holmes parody, sort of, with instead of a brilliant detective taking the the title role, it's instead an idiotic demonic sorcerer of sorts. Many core features of the original Holmes canon remain unchanged. A man named John Watson, who is an army doctor, starts living at 221B Baker Street with a man whose surname is Holmes and who claims to be a detective and is often consulted by the police, most notably a fellow named Lestrade. Watson starts coming along with Holmes on his cases and the rest is history. However, in this canon, Watson is the genius at deduction and Holmes is an idiotic demonic sorcerer and Lestrade is Vladislav Lestrade, a nihilistic vampire, and Gregson, one of the other detectives that Holmes works with, is Grogson, a house-proud ogre. Additionally, most of the stories have either or both of a comedic element or a supernatural element. Yeah, pretty obvious. I really, really enjoyed this book. It was really, really fun. It was a good romp based on the canon. It just, yeah. It also included some really interesting points about life, demons, and detectives. One point that it brings up that I do want to make note of is when Watson says, how can he help? He's just a man. And Lestrade, goes off at him a little bit, saying that, yes, he's just a man, but that's really rude because it's not vampires who are uh, out there in the streets, it's not ogres like Grogson, it's men. And that point is quite illogical. One thing that I would really like to say about is the brilliance of the Milverton story that's in the book. There's so much really interesting stuff to do with that, the brilliance of the way it works. It just makes so much more sense, as including the, the whole housekeeper engagement uh, subplot. That That's a thing that makes a whole load more sense and well, sort of, sort of, sort of, in this book compared to the other one. It, it, compared to the original canon. It's it's really clever. I also really liked the contrast between the Holmes and Watson of this book and the Holmes and Watson of the original canon. Because in this book, they actually say things, but with the participation reversed that they say in the original canon. The conversation about reading minds, for example, and it really gives an interesting sort of take on the whole Watson Holmes dynamic in the first place. It's it's clever. Another thing I really quite liked in this book was the comedic take on the stories of the canon. So the aforementioned bit with the housekeeper in the Milverton story, but also the backstory in the first story of Jefferson Hope and his donut. It was really quite clever and it brought a whole new sort of life to the stories that yeah I just I just liked it it's good I do have one complaint about this book however and that is that like the source material it doesn't have a whole load of female characters it is kind of lacking in representation in that point there's a handful of female characters but None of them get any sort of development, really. There's Mrs. Hudson, but she's barely in there. And there's, like, one or two others, but... The sequel looks like it might remedy this somewhat with a take on the woman, presumably Irene Adler, or Mary Morstan. But it's hard to say. This was kind of disappointing, but kind of expected with the, you know, history of most Holmes adaptations. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. 
It was a great twisted adaptation of the original Sherlock Holmes canon with some interesting comedic and mystical madness thrown in. Let me know in the comments below if you like this book, if you've read it, and if you haven't, let me know what your favourite Holmes story is. I'd love to know what you think, so let me know down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails down below to see other videos by me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.